So what's going on guys, we're going to another tutorial in Adobe After Effects CC. A lot of people have been asking me how did I work with this program. Some people are confused by it. So we're going to do a tutorial that somebody asked for on Facebook. Basically they wanted to do kind of like a travel map and we're going to do that right here. So I'm going to go File Import. I'm going to select my files. These are four images that I want to use in my project. It's going to be two maps and a picture of the Coliseum and the Statue of Liberty. So basically the concept is we're traveling from America to Italy. Next, we're going to go Composition, New Composition. I'm going to select this setting over here, 1280 by 720. Select OK. Next, we're going to take the US map, bring it on the timeline. And the first thing I want to do is actually just zoom in on it. So we're going to select the Transform option here. Select one keyframe for scale. We'll select another keyframe. And this time, we're just going to increase the size. We can also set a location for this because we want to kind of zoom in on the east coast. And that's where I'm located. And we're going to select another keyframe like that and just move this over. So that's simple enough. We're going to bring in one more image here. And that is the Statue of Liberty. And this is kind of what they did in the montage that this person showed me. So basically they just want to show you something where you are. We could do the same thing with an opacity this time and also the scale. So first let's start off with the opacity. It's so one keyframe, select zero. And then increase it at 100%. And just to make this a little bit more interesting, we are going to set one for scale. And then increase the size. It's just something to keep someone's attention when they're watching something like this. Now, if I was going to do the timing here, I would probably just move this over a little bit. Again, this is your project, so you can do as you want, you know, just to get creative with it. Next, we're going to bring in a map of Italy. Now, this is where we're going to. All I'm doing is showing this out because we don't need it for the whole project. I'm going to do the same thing we did before with the opacity. Select one keyframe at 0%, increase the opacity, and we're also going to set something for the scale. And again, the scale is to make it interesting, but for the map, I'm also going to zoom in right where my family's from, which is Rome. And we can move this over and try to see what it's going to look like. There you go. And that looks pretty cool to me. Now the next thing I want to do is take a picture of the Colosseum to show something representing Italy. So let's bring the picture of the Colosseum out into the timeline. And just for the Colosseum, since we're ending this, I'm just actually going to use the opacity. Select transform. One keyframe for opacity, add zero. And then increase the opacity. Now the project that somebody showed me, it showed like I think like a cruise video or something. So you can layer video in between this. It's up to you. I don't have any video of a cruise ship or an airplane, but that would make sense with some kind of travel video. So next what we want to do is close this and we have all our layers here that we want. But we have to think about this project and what would you want to use to actually show someone that you're traveling from the United States to Italy. Most people use some kind of marker of some sort. So now we're going to create some kind of marker to show where I'm located in the United States. So we're going to select the ellipse tool here and we're going to go to layer, new, and we're going to select shape layer. Next we're going to create a circle and I'm going to use red. And we're actually going to put this right in the beginning of the video. And then next we're going to create a rectangle. So we're going to go to layer, new and we're going to select shape layer. So this is going to be a second layer. Now again you could do this any way you want, you know it's really up to you on how you want to handle this. But I'm going to create this shape and I'm also going to rotate it. So now that we have the second shape selected we want to make this look like we're actually traveling. So we're going to go to layer and then select mask, select new mask. Now we're going to double click on the mask and we're going to expand this. Next we have some options for the mask and we're going to actually select to expand this. So what I'm going to do right now is take this mask, move it to the left, and now you don't see the shape. 
Now I'm going to select one keyframe for expansion, move on the timeline here, and then we're going to increase it. Now over here on the left hand side, we would want to show where we're traveling to. So we're going to create another shape and I'm going to use the rectangle tool, go to layer, new, and select shape layer. We're going to do the same thing that we did before. We're going to go to layer, select mask, new mask, or you can select control shift N, double click on the mask, expand it. And you're going to move the mask to the left until you don't see the red line. Now what we're going to do is select one keyframe for expansion. And we're going to increase it. And we're going to create one more shape layer and that's going to be a circle. So we're going to go to layer new and select shape layer. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.